Aujourd'hui, on annonce en plus notre Today, we are announcing our intention to ban all imports of crude oil from Russia, an industry that has benefited President Putin and his oligarchs greatly. Sheila, with Justin Trudeau as prime minister and with Joe Biden as U.S. president, we really have two incredibly weak leaders who share a hate on for domestic oil and gas, ostensibly because they want to reduce our nation's carbon footprints. Yet, look at the end result, Sheila, the price at the pump in Canada, it's heading towards two bucks a liter, while Russia is being so enriched thanks to oil going beyond $110 US a barrel that Putin is now able to easily finance his war with Ukraine. So Sheila, this is infuriating beyond words for me because at the end of the day, the energy policies of Trudeau and Biden have nothing to do with saving the world and everything to do with meaningless virtue signaling as innocent people die. What say you? You know, this has been a long game for the environmentalist movement, but also for Putin. In all of this, the environmentalist movement have been useful idiots yeah. for the Soviets. They really have been, or, or at least for the the new Soviet Union, the new Russian imperialism. Um, there have been congressional reports that say for years, the Russians have been using uh, an offshore holding company to dump money into environmentalist mega charities in San Francisco, where all of these things are headquartered. Yep. One of them was the Tides Foundation. The other one, I think, is called Sea Change. And from there, that money is greenwashed, basically, and spread out, and it funds the domestic anti-fracking and anti-pipeline movement. And that has been the real Russian meddling in Western politics for a very long time. And it has worked really well using well-meaning Western idiots to get the job done for them. The Russians needed to make sure that Ru Canadians and Americans never became so energy independent that they would export liquefied natural gas to Europe because they need that stranglehold on Europe and particularly Germany, yep. who buys, uh, I think it's 40% of their... Uh, natural gas comes directly from Russia, from Gazprom. And so they were able to manipulate geopolitics by having so many countries in Europe beholden to them. And all of that happened because the Western world was hamstrung by the environmentalist movement. And that's the Green New Deal in the United States. And that is the liberal carbon tax, anti-pipeline, gender theory crammed into every energy policy uh, happening here in Canada. All of that, the green movement, the people who are right now running around with Ukrainian flags in their Twitter bios, they did this through their green policies. You're 100% right. And talk about bait and switch. When Joe Biden was running for president, Sheila, you remember he passed himself off as a moderate. And once he assumed power, uh, it was abundantly clear that he was this progressive, uh, almost American Marxist, if you will. And I don't exaggerate, in the first week of taking office, he killed the Keystone XL deal. And it's just amazing. Uh, just a few days ago, there was the State of the Union address, Sheila, but he didn't address anything about how to get out of this quagmire. And it's doubly tragic that when Donald Trump was president, the U.S. was energy self-sufficient for more uh, for more than 70 years. And yet last year, the Biden administration imported 232 million barrels of Russian oil. Again, going back to my premise that that's what's funding this war against Ukraine. Sure. I mean, Joe Biden fancies himself to be Joe Lunchbucket. He's never been working class, but he thought of himself as a working class, pro-union kind of guy. When, as we know, it's always been Donald Trump who was the blue-collar billionaire, uh, probably more comfortable with the 
guys on, you know, in the hard hats than he was with the business guys. Um, but Biden, in his first act on the job, he canceled the very nearly complete Keystone XL pipeline. Yep. That is something that Donald Trump made a point to push forward as quickly as he could. Um, and that pipeline would take oil from Alberta, from the oil sands through Hardesty, Alberta, a small town along the pipeline route to um, refineries in America and then export if be, need be. That pipeline if it were operational today, it would be flowing 830,000 barrels mm. of clean, ethical Canadian oil every single day. Instead, Joe Biden canceled it. He canceled American jobs, which is doesn't align with his uh, blue collar Joe lunch bucket persona. He canceled Canadian jobs and he continues to fund the Russian war machine because every day, I think it's about 600,000 barrels of Russian oil come into the United States. The Keystone XL pipeline would offset that and then some while adding capacity, um, which drives down the cost of living and the price of uh, gas in the United States. By reigniting that pipeline, it addresses a whole host of issues. It creates American jobs, it offsets Russian oil, drives the cost of living down. But Biden won't do it because he's beholden to the green side of the Democrats. And it's gotten so bad in the United States that Joe can't, there's no, I guess, uh, escape hatch from this bad idea of killing Keystone XL that he was taken to pleading with OPEC the world's other oligarchs and dictators yes. to increase capacity because the price of oil was going up so fast in the United States and increasing the cost of living while he simultaneously pulled permits on American drilling and yep. canceled that one cross-border pipeline. The solution is so simple. Drill, 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 frack, 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 flood the market, starve the Wash Russian oil machine, create American and Canadian jobs, and address inflation, but he just won't do it because he wants to kiss butt to the AOC wing of the party. You're, you're so right, Sheila. That's what I was hoping to hear in his State of the Union address instead of, uh, you know, getting uh, Iranians confused with Ukrainians as the victims of the Russian invasion. Hey, folks, that was an excerpt from my show, Rebel Roundup. Now, to get the full meal deal, why not go to Rebel News Plus, sign up, and never miss a Rebel News Plus show in the future.